What I'm gonna show you today, I think your jaw is going to drop. Mine dropped, hit the floor, bounced back up and dropped again. Now I have a video that I'm gonna start it out with. It's, it's about a year old. If you haven't seen this, it is crazy. And I have another video that's coming up that's even crazier. So you definitely wanna stick around and check out what I'm about to show you. So I think the world of construction and just the world in general has changed or is going to change forever let me show you this clip this is insane this is a year old and remember i got a couple other clips after this this is wild check this out all right so this guy's up on scaffolding he's working and he forgets his tool so he picks up his I guess ipad or his phone or whatever and this is a freaking robot now watch what this robot does it calls in a, a command and says hey listen i need my tool so this robot which lifts with its legs does a little spin such a show off and uh, it puts the board down on the scaffolding. It figures out a way to get to him, right? It literally figured out a way to get to him. Goes up the stairs, grabs his, yeah, those are DeWalt tools. Climbs up the scaffolding over the piece of wood that it landed on. Throws this up, and good thing that's not a pipe wrench, but he throws this thing up on here. And then he does what every construction worker does. Uh, he throws down the box, and he dismounts off the scaffolding like such. I've seen this many times on the construction site. <laughs> and now I want to show you another video that's on another level. This was just revealed a couple days ago during a Tesla event, I guess. And this is a video posted by Tesla Owners SV. This is the Gen 3 Optimus robot that can talk. Now, let's watch a clip and I'll, I'll tell you what some people are saying about this. But we'll talk about the, the implications implications that this has i struggle with the big words the implications that this has optimus people here today it's insane it's even talking hi to my friend john john where's john right here oh hello john how are you, you that's that crazy i'm where talking to a robot from? uh from san jose probably san from where you were from where you were born in uh the that, silicon that's valley wonderful where do you live in san jose do you well, live in Almond valley or do you live in yeah. santa Teresa area no, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos? Oh, wonderful. That's yeah. A nice area. Where do you live? There's beautiful hiking out here out there. There is. Where do you live? Um, I live in Palo Alto at the current moment. Figures. Yeah, yes. this, is, this is awesome. That's where they train us, that's where we get our builds, and that's where we work with a wonderful group of people. What's the hardest thing about being a robot? Uh, trying to learn how to be as human as you guys are <laughs> what is that not the craziest thing now there, there's another video let me show you there's, there's another video it's crazy so i had to remove the background music from this because you ain't claiming my video youtube but you can see there's captions on here i'm ready thirsty you're thirsty what drink would you like are there options and it tells him the options of what he has to drink and he's like, okay, well, I'll take, I'll take one of those. I'll take a watermelon. Sounds great. And I had like two drinks there. But you can see it's picking up the freaking glass. And it's talking to this dude at the same time. And he's pouring a freaking drink. As he's talking, it's like, hey, how's your day going? What do you like to drink? Blah, 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 blah. And he hands it to him. And he's saying like, oh, I like water. The robot said, I like to drink water. It's crazy. Now, I have one more. I mean, there's a few of these videos out there. Uh, here's one more. I'm going to click on this. This looks like it's an easy task, but this, remind you, is a freaking robot, man. This is a shirt. And even though it's doing it a little slower. Oh, and by the way, this is from uh, Planet Car News. It's folding the freaking shirt. It's folding it. And then I guess the sink could put it away. Like, this is blowing my freaking mind. So from Pop the Frunk. I mean, so long story short, this is the Optimus 3 from Tesla. This robot is supposed to be leaps and bounds above anything else that has ever been put forth on the planet Earth when it comes to this type of technology. There was an Optimus 1, there was a 2, this is, I, I guess, a 3. The way this thing was talking, in some of the videos, you can literally see this thing leaning in and talking back and listening 
to what they're saying. They're playing games, rock, paper, scissors. Now, some people were stating that were there, um, the robots, when you would ask it a question, it would literally like lean into you and say, oh, and then it would, it would say like, what, what would you like to know? Like robot, what, what is the one thing you would like to know? And, and the robot would answer like a human would be like, um, well, I'd like to know how to become more human like you, you know, but it was saying it like, like it, they were talking to someone it was playing rock, paper, scissors. And like the way it was moving, it wasn't just giving answers. Like the thing was moving and like talking like a, a real human. But what is, what is the implications of this when it comes to not only construction, but your entire existence? That, that previous video, you know, of this thing picking up the wood, putting it down, getting to the person that's doing the work, bringing his tools. I mean, I say to my kids, I got a 9 and a 13 year old, and I, and I tell them, listen, you're going to be living in a world that I could only have dreamed of. I couldn't even have dreamed of this world. You know, I'm Gen X, so when I was growing up, you know, we didn't have the internet or really it wasn't anything like it is today. We didn't have the cell phones, the smartphones, and now we live our lives with these things. And I know I'm going to have one commenter saying that, you know, oh, I, I don't need a cell phone. I use a flip phone. Okay, well, like 99% of the people that are watching this video right now, you can't live without your cell phone. You just can't. Like, I don't leave the house without my cell phone. It just becomes part of you and your life. What is this? A lot of people say, okay, listen, this is dangerous. Uh, and, and I don't disagree with anybody here. Some people are going to say this is dangerous. It's going to take a lot of jobs away, whether you're in manufacturing, whether you're in construction. You know, I don't think these things are going to be building houses. Not yet, anyway. Um, I don't think it's going to be putting roofs on or doing plumbing. I don't think they're there yet. But I think they're getting close, right? So a lot of people are scared of it. Uh, a lot of people are going to say, I need this in my life. If I'm underneath the car, maybe I just get a robot. Or maybe I just need to clean my house. Maybe this thing can literally, let me show you what, what Elon said, stated about this. You're really going to have something spectacular, something that anyone could own. Um, so you could have your own personal R2D2 C3PO. And I think at scale, the, the, you know, this would cost something like, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars um, $30,000. But fundamentally, at scale, at the Optimus robot, you should be able to, to buy an Optimus robot for, I think, probably twenty to $30,000 long term. So, and, and, and what can it do? It can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher, babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. And I, I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Is that not just the craziest freaking thing? It'll cut your grass? Like it's going to walk behind a mower and just cut your grass? Like... What opportunities are here? And, and again, a lot of people are probably like scared to death. You know, you're a landscaper. You hear that. They're like, oh, my God. Unless you own the business and you're like, oh, I, I get one of these. I'll have them cut the grass. But if you're working for it, it's freaking insane. Um, let, me, let me try to put this in perspective here, though. You know, this picture here is a picture of the Titanic. Now, I have been a fan of, you know, everything Titanic since I was a little kid. Way before the movie came out. Even though... I believe the Jack could have fit on the door with Rose. I think Rose was a cold hearted. Sorry, didn't mean to go there. But what I want you to look at is, you know, the post, the craftsmanship of this ship. So you can see, you know, even up on the ceiling, like the detail, the woodworking on the columns. It is just crazy. Somebody sat there with a chisel, right? And chiseled that. And the reason I bring this up is because when you think of robots, you know, you, you would say to yourself or someone would say to yourself, a, a robot would never be able to do what these craftsmen did when they built the Titanic. It's just, it's just awe-inspiring to see the, the craftsmanship there. But then you realize that a lot of this, the stuff that you see here, if this was to be duplicated today, like 90% of the time, this would be duplicated by a robot. If you were to build this ship today, 
I find it very highly unlikely that anybody would be sitting there with their chisel and their ha hammers and mallets carving pieces of wood like they did back then. It would be a CNC machine, which is a robot that runs on codes. I had one. I had a channel that did it. They were amazing. They would do, the CNCs would do a million times better than anything I could ever do by hand. And I know there's skilled tra uh, tradesmen and craftsmen out there that can say, well, I can do that. And that's great. I guarantee you couldn't do it in the amount of time that a CNC could do it. Robots really actually have already taken over what we do, right? I'm speaking to you through a robot or code. So I find this Optimus 3 and the bus and dynamics and, and all that stuff, I find it fascinating, but I find it scary. And I think the world of construction or manufacturing or everyday living, if you have something that's going to walk your dog, teach your kids. Whether you think that's right or wrong, it's, it's happening. I want to show you one other thing. You know, Elon, <laughs> you got to take this dude serious. I mean, look what he just did. Let me show you. All right, for any of you that are interested in space, you know, we've had NASA for years and years and years. Look what Elon just did. This is a SpaceX rocket booster. And it used to be back in the day that these things would just, when they fell off the rocket, you know, when they were going into space, it would just land in the ocean. And a lot of times they just didn't recover it. Just be sitting there. Uh, look at this. Velocity. Oh, we can see it coming down through the plume. Booster coming in hot for Booster Touch. We're going to ignite 13 of those Raptor engines. And this view is incredible right now. You can see how fast this vehicle is moving on the left hand. Landing burn. Thirteen ignited. We're now down to three Raptor engines. We can see those chopsticks now. You know, the reason I'm laughing, well, there's a couple different reasons. One is it's absurd that that happened. And number two, I love ingenuity and I love the heart that these people are expressing watching their product come back and do what it's supposed to do. And they literally dropped a booster out of the sky and caught it with chopsticks. And if this dude can't do it, I don't think he's like the real life Tony Stark, right? I got to thumb this up, man. I got I to gotta thumb that. I got to smash that like button. It's amazing. So I'm really curious to know what you think. I believe this is going to happen. I believe that you're going to be seeing these robots. It's going to be like the movie iRobot. You're going to be seeing these probably out and about or in people's homes. You're going to go visit grandma and it's going to be cleaning its dishes. You know, hopefully the AI doesn't turn on us, you know, Terminator and all that good stuff. But I just find it fascinating. And I, and I tell my kids, again, a nine and a 13 year old, um, you're about to see things in your life that, we've only dreamed of in mind and uh it's just so exciting for them and, and us really you know I'm, I'm 46 years old but uh seeing this stuff it's just it's just wow so let me know what you think in the comment section i wanted to share this with you in case you weren't up to date on it and uh check this video out right here we'll be back with more videos soon